Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, February the 18th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast uh, Racing Report. I have stake races from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park to handicap this afternoon, folks. Let's go to the Big A first race for 1.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the as indicated stakes, a mile test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Four year olds and up race for a stakes prize of some. $75,000. Contenders number two, San Pablo. Number four, Maryland's Guy. Number one, Isn't He Perfect? And number five, Linebacker. Number two, San Pablo qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Has won five of seven in his career to date, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. Both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this stakes field and has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, including a quartet of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez and trainer Todd Pletcher sent him to the post this afternoon. They flecked the tote board with 63% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Velasquez, by the way, has been in his honors on two previous occasions, winning them both. Back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat trick win. Number four, Maryland's guy takes a class drop of two track master units, has hit the board in four straight, including back-to-back -back power run wins in this second and a third races back. Race four summary, number two, San Pablo, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number four, Maryland's guy, number one, isn't he perfect, and number five, linebacker, two, four, one, five in the fourth from Aqueduct, the $75,000 as indicated stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park next for race 10 on their card, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Gulfstream Park Sprint Championship Stakes, seven furlong sprint on the dirt track, grade two, four-year-olds and up, race for $150,000. Contenders number two, Captain Candyman Ken, number eight, Force Freeze, number six, Trollius, and number one, Bold Warrior. Number two, Captain Candyman Can is one of an impressive six of eight starts sprinting at today's distance of seven furlongs on the dirt as both the overall speed and pace profile later in this field. He's hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Number eight, Force Freeze, the morning line favorite, drops in class by three track master units to enter this graded stakes test as hit the board in power run fashion in three straight including a power run win in his third race back. Race 10 summary, number two, Captain Candyman Can tops the contenders list today, which also includes number eight, Force Freeze, number six, Trollius, and number one, Bold Warrior, 2861 in the 10th today from Gulfstream Park, the $150,000 Gulfstream Park Sprint Championship Stakes. Bonus long shots, let's do three from Turf Paradise, all stake races. Let's go to race five here in the $35,000 Turf Paradise Handicap, the four to one shot, number two, Briatic County. Speed figures racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf, which are comparable to the favorite, number seven, Elder Raffer. Race seven here in the $75,000 Phoenix Gold Cup Stakes, check out the four to one shot. Number 10, Ducky Drake, who's won 20 times in his career to date. Sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt, drops in class by five track master units. The overall speed leader in this field this afternoon. And in race eight, here in the $35,000 Sun City Handicap, check out the 10 to 1 bomb, number five, LV's Lane, who shares the speed honors in this field with the morning line favorite, number three, Rare Sunset. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream plus long shots in stake races from Turf Paradise. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.